Hi everyone, it's Terry here from nutsaboutstamping.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a really pretty birthday card idea. I have a friend who is celebrating her birthday today, and as we are all in quarantine, she lives fairly closely to me, so I thought I would make her a birthday card, and when this video is over, I will walk it up and pop it into her mailbox as a nice surprise. Now, part of being in quarantine, for me anyway, has meant that maybe it's time to clean my crafting closet, which I can already tell is going to be a really disastrous decision because I'm starting to unearth things that I didn't remember that I had, and I'm finding so much fun stuff to play with that the cleaning really has come to an end. I'm going to use the Label Me Bold stamp set and I'm going to use the Daisy Lane stamp set. Now you can see that this one is in Dutch because I currently live and work in the Netherlands right now. And I went to one of Stampin' Up's events in Europe and I don't know if this was one of, um, we, one of the sets we got when we registered or if it's one that I won. Anyway, it's in Dutch, but um, for you, if you speak English only, you would want to look at the Daisy Lane stamp set, which is on page 23 of the annual catalog. So look what I unearthed. <clears throat> These I found in the back of my crafting closet, and I didn't even realize. Yep, they're still available in the catalog. They're called the Pattern Party Decorative Masks, and there's actually four of them. I have only managed to unearth three of them. I'm a little embarrassed to admit, I will find the fourth and I will play with it later on this week, but I thought it would be kind of fun to play with them. I haven't used these, I don't know, in a very, very long time. So I'm going to choose this one, which kind of looks like bricks, and I'm going to use it as a mask um, to make a layer for my card, my birthday card. Let me show you how this all works. My card base is going to be terracotta tile. And to that, I am going to add a layer of Daffodil Delight and a layer of Whisper White. I'm gonna put these two layers aside right now, and I'm going to use my decorative mask to sponge a brick kind of facade or pattern on this layer. So let me bring in my junky piece of grid paper. I love having these junky pieces lie around because they're perfect for this kind of activity. And then I have some retired washi tape. You could use painter's tape, but you want a tape that is not so sticky that when you go to peel it off, it's going to ruin your cardstock. And I'm going to take my brick mask and I'm going to angle it onto my Whisper White. Now, if I went ahead and started adding color, this would slip, which is why I brought out this retired roll of washi tape. So what I'm going to do is I am going to use the washi tape to help me attach or hold fast the decorative mask onto my grid paper, but also onto my cardstock. So I'm going to Put a few pieces on <clears throat> and then I'm going to ever so lightly just add some strips down the side and I'll tell you why in a minute or I'll show you what not to do. I'm not going to stick them really fast. I just want it to be more of a mask. No pun intended because I'm using the decorative masks. All right, now for my brick, I'm going to sponge three colors. I'm going to use crushed curry, I'm going to use terracotta cut tile, which is the card base, and I'm going to use Cajun craze. So I'm gonna start off with my lighter color, which is the, did I say it's crushed curry? Sorry, I just completely blanked for a second. Now, we've got these sponges that are also available in the catalog. They look like this, and you get three of them in a pack. And what I do is I cut them into sections and then I dedicate my sections to a color. And that way, um, lighter colors don't get sort of 
covered up by the darker colors. So I'm going to sponge some crushed curry first. And then I'm going to set that aside for a second. I'm going to bring in my terracotta tile next because this is sort of the medium kind of tone. And I'm going to sponge this next. And I'm going to go over just a, a little bit of the crushed curry just so that they blend together like so. And then I'm going to leave that out and then I'm going to use the Cajun Craze which is the darkest color of all. And that's what I'm going to sponge for the remaining white section, like so. You can make it as dark as you want, as light as you want. I would suggest you try different colors, depending on what you wanna put as a layer on top. Okay, so now that I'm done, and does get on your fingers, so just be mindful of that. Ha, I'm going to peel it off and I'm gonna set my decorative mask aside right now. Now let me show you the reason why I suggested that you put a piece of washi tape down the side. Here's what happens if you don't. <laughs> you get this ghosting line from the sponge. Not so pretty. So that was my trial run because I haven't played with these for a long time. I'd forgotten what it was like. And that's why by using the washi tape or some kind of painter's tape, to mask the side of the mask, if that makes any sense, then you avoid that line. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is bring in a piece of Whisper White cardstock and I'm going to do some stamping. So from the Daisy Lane stamp set, I'm going to take these two daisies. I've already got them mounted and I'm going to ink them up using the crushed curry. I'm going to stamp the bigger one. Oh, I can already see, I think I've made a mistake. I'm gonna stamp the smaller one. And then from the Label Me Bold, I've got the Happy Birthday. And I'm going to ink that up using the terracotta tile. And I'm going to stamp it down like so. And the reason that I decided to use the Daisy Lane stamp set was also at the back of my crafting closet were the two punches. So the Daisy Punch and the Medium Daisy Punch. So this makes crafting really fun. You can just line these up. There we go. And then this one, I'm not sure it'll fit, which is why I said, uh-oh. Yeah. So let me get my scissors. And I need to, I'm just gonna cut this apart and I'm going to round the corners so that it'll fit in my punch. There we go. Now, hopefully, I can line everything up and punch away. It's the lining everything up that's complicated for me. I do not have good visual <laughs> spacing. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm just gonna go for it. There we go. And then, from the remaining piece with the happy birthday, I'm just gonna take my paper snips and I'm going to cut around it. I love this stamp set. I love the phrases, I love the size. There's so many fun things you can do with it. Okay, so let's clean up my workspace and we'll put everything together. I have all of my pieces ready to go, so let's finish off my birthday card. The first thing I'm gonna do is attach the Whisper White layer to the Crushed Curry layer. And then I'm going to adhere it to my card base, which is the terracotta tile. And I'm 
going to put it over on a little bit towards the the spine of the card. I don't like to have everything centered in the middle all the time, most of the time, but not all of the time. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my snail and I'm going to attach the large daisy, uh, maybe like that. And then I'm going to use a mini stamp and dimensional to attach the medium daisy to the large daisy or the larger daisy. And I'm just going to countersink it so it has a nice layered look and a little bit of a lift off the front of the card. And then the last thing I'm going to do is bring in my happy birthday phrase. And I've got my silicone sheet here so that adhesive does not get on my grid paper. And I'm going to attach my happy birthday. Oh, maybe up here. I never know where I'm going to final have my final placement for everything. Now that's really pretty. I'm really excited about how this has turned out and I'm so happy that I unearthed those decorative masks to play with. Now, after the video's over, I'm going to make a decision because you know I'm trying to use up all of my embellishments before the next catalog comes out in a few months. So I've got the Peaceful Poppies sequins, which have sort of a white, um, They've got sort of these little white sequins in them that I think would be nice. I also have the From My Heart faceted gems, which have the really shiny gems. So I'll make a decision as to which one I'm going to use. And if you'd like to see a final photo of the card, head on over to my blog, www.nutsaboutstamping.com. And if you are housebound like I am and you would like to get some free projects emailed directly to you each week, consider subscribing to my newsletter. You can do that over on my blog. All I need is your name and your email address and that will automatically add you to my mailing list. If you want to place an order so that you have a few more fun projects or products at home to play with, there's a shop now button over on my blog. And I'll also link underneath this video to my online stores, both in Europe and in the US, in case you want to add some organizational products or some crafting products for the weeks ahead. I'm Terry. I am Nuts About Stamping. I hope you stay well and have fun crafting. And I hope you create something beautiful today too. Bye for now.